Africa, 6000 to 200 BC. Although the earliest human remains have been found in Africa, not much was known until recently of the continent's history before 1500 BC except for Egypt. Today, the Sahara forms a great desert barrier between northern and central Africa, but in about 6000 BC that barrier did not exist. Rock drawings and paintings show the climate was much wetter and that more people were able to live in the Sahara. The land began to dry up after around 3500 BC, but desert trade towns and routes remained open, providing a link between northern and central Africa. Nubia and Kush Egyptian culture spread up the Nile to Nubia, now Sudan. The kingdom of Kush grew out of Nubia from 2000 BC onward. Kush was valuable to Egypt as a trading partner and as a source of gold. Egypt conquered Kush in 1500 BC to secure gold deposits there, but in 750 BC was itself conquered by the Kushites, who founded the 25th dynasty of the pharaohs. Kush never had a Bronze Age, went straight from using stone to using iron. The capital was moved from Napata to its religious centers to Meroe. Because Meroe was surrounded by rich iron ore deposits, this meant that Kush became an important center of iron working, supplying Egypt, Babylon, Arabia, and Ethiopia. Meroe imitated Egypt, and it preserved many Egyptian traditions for the future, at a time when Egypt itself was going through cultural changes. Ethiopia was also important, though self-contained area of culture with religious traditions of its own. Central and Southern Africa Around the Niger River lived farming tribes, with few trading towns. Downstream, the Nok nation of Nigeria became ironworking and village-dwelling craftspeople. To the east, there were nomadic shepherds and village-dwelling people of Chad. Across Central Africa, Bantu peoples were moving, from south, were moving south from Nigeria, taking ironworking and farming with them. Southern Africa was occupied by shepherds, as well as hunter-gatherers known as the Khoisan.